they want to buy and install a grain auger over here. And the greatest angle of elevation possible for the auger is 35 degrees. So the diagram is drawn for you. Remember, angle of elevation is with a horizontal and a line of sight going up to an object. So this is the angle of elevation. And the auger is 18 meters long, so that's the length of the auger. What are they asking us to find? The maximum height it can reach. It can't, this is the greatest angle it can um, form, so it can't go higher than from the ground to here, so we have to find the height. So in relation to this angle, these questions are all repetitive, right? How do we label the sides? It forms a 90 degree angle here. So 18 meters would be what? Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Hypotenuse, and height would be opposite or adjacent? Opposite, because it's opposite the angle that we're referencing. I don't even need to label this as adjacent because we're not even using that. We don't have the adjacent side. We need to know the opposite, and we have the hypotenuse. So, Sokotoa. Which ratio uses opposite and hypotenuse? Sine ratio, right? Opposite and hypotenuse. So how do we set it up? Sine what? Sine 35 degrees equals, what's the opposite? Opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so fill it in. What is the opposite side length labeled as? What's the opposite side? height, so h over 18. You can put this over 1, right? And then we're going to cross multiply to solve for h. This is easy. 1 times h. And then we're going to do sine 35 times 18. And punch it into your calculator. Tell me what you got. So it's approximately equal to 10 meters if you round it to the nearest meter. So Noah is flying a kite. And he has released 25 meters of string. His sister is standing 8 meters away, directly below the kite. What is the angle of elevation of the string? This is Noah. This is the kite string, which is 25 meters. The sister is standing 8 meters away, so they're 8 meters apart. What is the angle of elevation of the string? Which angle are you trying to find? This, I'll call this A, or B? B, B because it's with the horizontal looking up to an object. So we're trying to find angle B, and we have adjacent in relation to this angle, good. And of course, this is a hypotenuse because it's across from a 90 degree angle. So in Sokotoa, which ratio do we use for Adjacent and hypotenuse. John Michael, which ratio it uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Cosine, good. Adjacent and hypotenuse. So cos B, right? We don't know. So this one we're finding the angle equals adjacent is 8 and hypotenuse is 25. What is 8 divided by 25? So 0 0.32, right? Then you have to, we're trying to find the angle. So you have to have second or shift cos 0 0.32 equals, what is angle B equal to? Approximately 71 degrees. Okay. Yeah, so if you have a, we're trying to solve this triangle, ABC, but we know that it's a right angle triangle. So if you draw it like this, let's say, I have to call that A, because according to the question, that's the 90 degree angle. And side length A is always opposite the angle A. So it's always labeled lowercase a. And then where do you want to put B? Doesn't matter. Top or bottom? OK, so this, if this is B, where's side length B? Opposite, across. If this is angle C, then this has to be side length C. They're always across, right? Okay, so just remember that when you're labeling the triangle. Now you guys can fill in the information they gave you. 
Did they give you side length B? No, so we know we have to figure this out. Did they give us angle B? Nope. Did they give us angle C? Nope, so we have to find angle B, angle C, side length B. Do we know A? What is it? 7.8 meters and C is? Okay, so it's very important that you label it properly because if you don't, then it's not gonna be labeled correctly in relation to the angles you're trying to find. Okay, so if you're using Pythagorean theorem to solve this, let's, we would call this A, we can call this B, this is C in Pythagorean theorem. If I'm using A squared plus B squared equals C squared, this has to be C because in Pythagorean theorem, C represents the hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. So just plug it in now. What's A? Um, no, in Pythagorean theorem, 5.2, right? Yeah. Plus, I don't know, B. And then C in Pythagorean theorem would be 7.8. To isolate, you would do b squared equals 7.8 squared. Take away 5.2 squared. That would give you b squared. That would be 60.84. Take away 27.04. b squared equals 33.80. If you find the square root, b is approximately equal to and yes, we would round it to one decimal place because in the question, each of the dimensions are labeled to one decimal place, so you would follow with that. So 5.8 meters. So let's say I want to find out angle B in reference to that angle. Uh, let's, let's use these sides because these are the sides we're given. Remember I told you, like, let's say I made an error here. If I use this side, then everything's going to be wrong. So let's use the sides that were given. In reference to this angle, this would be the hypotenuse. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter which angle you're referring to. And in reference to that angle, this would be what? Opposite or adjacent? Uh, opposite. This side is in reference to this angle. Oh, adjacent. Adjacent. Okay, so now that tells us which ratio to use. So Katoa, which ratio uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Mm -hmm. Which one? Sine, cos, or tan? Good. Cosine, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So cosine B, this is similar to the last example we just did, is equal to what? What's the ratio? What are the numbers? Uh, Good. Adjacent is 5.2 divided by 7.8. So do that on your calculator. And then you're going to hit <laughs> shift, cos, whatever the answer is to this equals what do you guys get what's angle b what's angle b equal to 48 degrees so now we can use the sum of the interior angles in a triangle all angles in a triangle add up to what 180 so if this is 48 this is 90 what is angle c would be 180 minus 48 plus 90, which is equal to 42 degrees.